Yo, what's up guys? Joker bringing you another video for the uh, Sakurajima update on Pal World. This is going to be my first little tips and tricks video, my first little guide video. At this point, I played for probably over 20 hours. And the most annoying thing that I have found to gather is actually going to be crude oil, right? By far, it's the thing that bottlenecks you the most. You're either going to have to have several bases set up to get the crude oil or just do wait like several hours, right? And with some of these recipes being a ridiculous amount of how, uh, what, what is it called? Plastil? I can't even remember its real name. Uh, yeah, Plastil. Um, as you can see, it takes 180 to make this epic Plastil helmet, which is an insane amount of Plastil when you think about the fact of how slow you get crude oil. Like, I mean, if we watch this... It's literally like terrible, right? Let alone you not only have to mine up the plastic, uh, I'm sorry, the crude oil, you have to run multiple burners, multiple uh, furnaces if you, you want to make a decent amount of plastic in general because it cooks as slow as it fucking mines the crude oil, right? So. I figured if we could go ahead and at least make one of those steps faster, then it would help. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So the thumbnail probably gave it away. Um, and some people may, may have an opinion on it. But the best way I have found to get uh, to get crude oil is going to be the Kickets, right? Which is funny because I just realized that their name is Kickit, and um, their little pal deck entry says that in the past they were used as a soccer ball. So it was literally named Kick It because people used to kick it. So at least what I'm doing is slightly better. You can probably see where this is going, right? And this is all possible because of one new item that we've gotten. Uh, we really need an automatic egg hatcher where I can just load in like 50 to 100 fucking eggs and then just let them run. Um, because after breeding uh, a couple of pals, I have a Jet Ragon that I bred to decency. I bred Kermit. And then I bred uh, Kilala, which is um, the little dog looking thing. I'll show it here in a second. Um, I, I probably used several hundred eggs at this point uh, just to get those to the perfect stats. Well, not perfect stats, but decent enough stats to actually use in combat. And I had to actually give up because I got lazy um, on getting them to have the good stats and the good traits on an alpha version. I still have to do that. But let's go ahead and finish hatching this inventory of Kick It. And the reason why I say this is the most sustainable, uh, easiest uh, crude oil method is because of the fact that all you need for this is cake. Okay, so we have five kickets, right? Here's here's the jet dragon that I um that I bred, right? It took fucking forever. Um, but let's go here, and then we go back to our oil base. We're using this oil base to double as kind of like a resource uh, generation, right? We got like furnaces, we got production lines, right? This machine right here, does it show you its name? It doesn't. Okay, let's go to the tech tree. So this is the PAL disassembly conveyor. Uh, and by that name, you can probably assume what it does. But it does it 
And oh, let me actually sort my pals real quick. That way I can just spam click them. It actually does it significantly faster, right? So I'm going to quit beating around the bush. Essentially, what you do is you breed a bunch of kickets and then you butcher them because their drop table has crude oil on it, right? And since they breed super fast, they are a super easy resource to constantly get. And then see, all you do is <laughs> you feed them through the little thing. And we're going to show you the amount of oil that we got in comparison. So this ticked probably one time. Let's be generous and say it ticked two, right? So for this to be a better method, can you not right now? Uh, for this to be a better method than that, we would have to get at, at least that two, crude, that two crude oil, right? And we got 18. So instead of having several bases dedicated with Ozerks and fucking high level power plants and going slow as shit, all you have to do is have money or a farm set up with everything you need, right? This one farm right here gives me more than enough wheat to go ahead and sustain the cakes. And if you have a wandering merchant, like I mentioned, you can go ahead and buy eggs and milk and red berries, right? So you can literally buy everything you need for cakes. And with how full of dungeons this, I, what is this? Uh, with how full of uh, dungeons Sakurajima is, you're going to be able to have an infinite amount of money, right? Uh, I'm going to show a money strategy that's pretty similar, just with a different pal that I've literally made millions of gold with. Like, it's probably going to be patched, but it's using the same concept that I'm using right now, where my resource cost is literally just cakes that I'm able to infinitely self-sustain. I mean... Uh, how many cakes do we have right now? We have 30, I think we have 30 in each of these, don't we? Yeah, 30, 60, uh, 79, and then we have 25 there. So we have 100 right there on top of the fact that if we actually go to our main base, let me see how many cakes I have cooking right now. I want to say it's like another 60, right? So we got like another 150 cakes. Or, oh, there's another 19 right there. And then we have 12, another 40. Yeah, and then we have 600 flour cooking. And then we had to make some pancakes because they were running out of pancakes. Uh, but yeah, so we have more than enough supplies. It pretty much infinitely sustains and the fact that you're going to be running your miners at the same time, this means that you only have to have one production base as opposed to several to mine the crude oil, right? Because I guess the alternative is going to be like the siege at that crude oil platform. Um, I haven't tested that yet. And I don't know how competitive it is, but this allows you to go do other stuff while you're waiting on the crude oil. Because I want to say it's like every third or fourth armadillo, you're going to get the three crude oil. So it's just going to like triple or quadruple the amount of crude oil that you can get per hour. And since it's already an insanely long time cooking it, I figured I'd go ahead and throw out this tip. Also, uh, I don't know how I feel about this armor. It's kind of OP, but it's also like really lavender. Um, like if it was any other color, I'd have less of a problem with it, but it's just so lavender um, <laughs> that it, it, it's kind of bugging me a little. So I probably will swap to one of the other armor sets that in my opinion are probably not as good, but they just look better because they're blue and red, right? 
But yeah, that's it. Uh, this video is 10 minutes. I didn't want it to be 10 minutes, but it is. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content. I'm going to keep playing the expansion, uh, make sure that I figure out everything. The next, um, the next video is either going to be like coordinates for all of these, like showing you where all of these dungeons are so you can tag them real quick, or it's going to be explaining how you use dog coins and what they're used for, like how I ended up getting a third inventory slot. Or I'm going to try to find the oil rig and see if I can, um, it, how hard it is to actually solo. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Take care.